What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to create a Nextcloud virtual machine associated with a domain name and encrypt all the traffic through it with Let's Encrypt next on Low Res DIY. So why Nextcloud? Well, one of the reasons is because I'm just a cheap SOB. That's all there is to it. I don't want to have to go to Google Share or to Microsoft OneDrive, start sh saving things up in the cloud, and then find out, hey, I'm getting ready to overextend this. But they're going to come back at me and say, but hey, we got you, Jason. We got you. Here, for just this much money a month, we'll give you another gig of hard drive space or something like that. I'm just too cheap for that, especially when I've got the stuff sitting here and I can create my own cloud uh, ran out of my house here. Another thing is once you start sharing these things to the cloud, they're not yours anymore. Microsoft, Google, they can do whatever they want with them. They tell you they're not going to, but really they can. Pictures, they're, they're putting facial recognition on there. They're checking out things in the background to see how better to advertise to you, things like that. So let's just cut them out. Something else you can do with it that's pretty cool is you can add friends to it. And with that capability, you can make virtual calls with them. You can send instant messages to them. You can share files with them, things like that. You know, an example is let's say you're super big in the world of war, Warcraft, classic world of Warcraft, and you know, the burning crusades getting ready to come out and you and your guild, they've decided, Hey, we're going to go for some world first here. We're going to have a couple world first and you start strategizing on it. Well, this just gives you a, a quicker connection to your, your guild members and keeps your strategies and thoughts just between your group. It's not being advertised all over wherever, you know, places where people can, can easily find out what you guys are talking about, because that's, that's some highly sensitive information right there. Really? Do you want to risk a world first just because you were too lazy to set up a next cloud server? I doubt it. So let's get into it. Let's set this thing up. To start off with, I've created a virtual machine that has eight gigabytes of RAM, six processors, and those you just do it how you choose. But the big one, I think, in my mind, is the hard drive. If you're going to be saving a lot of files to this, you're going to want to give it a large hard drive. I don't have a whole lot on this machine, on this test machine, but I'm still going to give it a 100 gigabyte just for my testing and playing around with and we'll probably make another video about this later if you don't know how to create a virtual machine check out this video it'll walk you through the steps and we'll we'll sit here we'll wait for you go ahead check it out create your virtual machine and come on back so once you've got it created uh start it up and you can log into it and do it through this and if you want but with virtual machines and proxmox you can't cut and paste like we do with containers. You have to type everything out. Again, I'm lazy. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to open uh, putty, but, and we're going to SSH into the machine. But before we do that, I need to know what the IP address of this machine is. So we'll have to log into it real quick. And let's do a if config. And right here it says that the IP address is 192.168.1.219. So let's go ahead and close this window. Let's go ahead and open PuTTY and enter that IP address. Make sure we put it in right. It's going to throw a warning up because I haven't logged into this uh, machine yet. And let's log back into it again. All right. So. Now we're SSH'd into that virtual machine. And I'm just going to pull the instructions up over here on the side. We're going to have these instructions in the description of the video. So don't worry about trying to memorize them or zoom in on the screen to see what it says. They'll be in the, the description. And the first one we want to do is a sudo snap install next cloud. So let's just copy it and paste it in. Hit enter. And it's going to ask for your root password, fill it in and let it run. All right. That took maybe three, four minutes 
to install. It's done, it's installed. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start it. And just that easily it started. So our web address was 192. Let's go ahead and go to the browser of your choice, open a new tab, and let's see if we can log into it. There it is. Just that quick, your brand new Nextcloud server. Let's log into it with admin and password admin. It's going to take a couple minutes, but it's going to bring this screen up that you want to change your password because, hey, let's face it, a log a login name or username of admin with a password of admin, it's not very secure. You definitely want to change it. So before you can do that, it's going to go through and it's going to install these add-ons, you know, your calendar. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that word. My Midwestern accent would just slaughter it. Uh, your contents, your mail, your talk. So let's just kick back, wait for it to happen, have a beer, have a cup of coffee, whatever you choose. Oh my goodness, this is taking a long time. Well, it just gives you a chance to reach down and hit that subscribe button and that like button. So go ahead, have at it. All right, it is finally done. I had enough time to, to finish my beer and go get another one with that. So it's going to take a minute. Just be ready for that. Bring you a little slideshow up. It'll show you different things you can do with it. You can go ahead and click through that if you want. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is go into users and we're going to want to get rid of this admin user and add another one. So click new user. Of course, I'm going to make one named low res. Display name low res give it a give yourself a password you can put your uh email address in there if you want you can make yourself an admin user if you want which obviously we're an admin so it's going to do that we're going to hit the little question mark or the check mark there and now low res is created and let's go ahead and delete this admin user Hmm, unable to proceed. Maybe it's probably because I'm logged in in as admin. So let's go ahead and log out. Log back in as low res. And let's try to delete that admin user again. And there you go. It's because I was uh, still logged in as the admin user. So, all right, it's up and running. We've got a new user created. But we just have it set up on our local system right now. So let's go ahead and log out and set this up to use a domain name, which will give us access to our Nextcloud server from anywhere in the world. So let's go back into our putty session, pull our instructions back up, and let's run this command right here. And we are going to scroll down and we're going to add a line just under our IP address and put our domain name in. And if you don't know or don't have a domain name, check out this video right here and it will show you how to create a domain name with DuckDNS. All right, we got it input it and we're going to save it and let's see if we can log into it right away or if we have to reboot the virtual machine so http colon slash slash low res test one dot duck dns dot org so now we have access to it from anywhere in the world but you're going to notice that it's not secured which means all your traffic is is it isn't encrypted so anybody that would be snooping around and would get that information they would get your username your password whatever they wanted it's just going to be in plain text form so let's go back into our putty session into our instructions let's grab this command right here and set let's encrypt up paste it in it is going to ask you uh, if you have the set requirements you're going to say yes 
It's going to ask for your email address, and then it's going to ask for the domain name. So lowrestest one dot duck dns dot org. Enter. It's going to go out and it's going to try to create the certificate for you. All right. It looks like uh, it works. So let's go ahead and go back and change this guy out to H https colon hack hack low res test one dot, dot org all right and we've got the little lock right there so everything's encrypted we can go ahead and log back in set up ready to go save the password if you want and we're encrypted so we're, we're safer than we were before all right next cloud is set up we have a new username as the administrator we've got a domain name as domain name associated with it so that your guild members or whoever you want to give that to can log into it ah, not that quick we got to go through and set up a group and uh, users and everything and invite people and stuff like that and that'll be in the next video so if you're interested in that go ahead hit that subscribe button and if you like this video hit the the like button also one more thing is this stuff is free so a lot of it is uh ran on donations and i forgot to mention it in the duck dns video that if you are going to use it quite a bit and you like it it's free go ahead throw a couple bucks at them you know one or two dollars might make a big difference keep it up and running so until next time thanks for watching